followed by Marianne North, and then Elsom, and Glamorously Glam next, and it's Barnavara and Shane Foley racing on a couple of lengths clear from Kilmood, Susan, Marianne North, then Elsom, and Glamorously Glam, and it's the newcomer Barnavara winning in good style from Kilmood, Susan, Elsom, followed by Marianne North, and then Elsom, and Glamorously Glam next, and it's Barnavara and Shane Foley racing on a couple of lengths clear from Kilmood, Susan, Marianne North, then Elsom, and Glamorously Glam, and it's the newcomer Bar Navarra winning in good style from Kilmood. Susan Elsom is there in the placings with Marianne North. The placings go to the judge behind a good winner on debut, Bar Navarra. Edging on by three parts of a length to a length over Arizona Blaze and then Gran Habano. Monotone is next, dropping back to the rear is Morning Vietnam. But it is Whistle Jacket by two and a half to Arizona Blaze. Whistle Jacket is spacing them out and is set to beat the previous winners in the game for his fly. Edging on by three parts of a length to a length over Arizona Blaze and then Gran Habano. Monotone is next, dropping back to the rear is Morning Vietnam. But it is Whistle Jacket by two and a half to Arizona Blaze. Whistle Jacket is spacing Facing them out and is set to beat the previous winners in the game for his flyer made just about all in doing so from Arizona Blaze, Monotone, Granabano, Morning Vietnam. Racing to the final furlong, Norwalk Havoc, fractional leader from Samuel Cole. These two are locked together. Then Echo Eye Secret, who falls away. Bright Stripes is quickening up over on the far side. It's three in a line with less than 100 yards to go. And from last to first, it's Bright Stripes is going on to win the Tetrarch from Norwalk Havoc. Samuel, the final furlong, Norwalk Havoc, fractional leader from Samuel Cole. These two are locked together. Then Echo Eye Secret, who falls away. Bright Stripes is quickening up over on the far side. It's three in a line with less than 100 yards to go and from last to first it's Bright Stripes is going on to win the Tetrarch from Norwalk Havoc Samuel Coat and Ekerai Secret next. It's Asian Days and Rory Mulligan stretching their lead to two and a half lengths over Neo Smart and Madden Plaintiff. Sluice continues to stay on ahead of Stray and then Rip Justina. But there's no catching Asian Days, who's now four in front. The battles for minor money. Asian Days wins well with Sluice pipping the second. Asian Days and Rory Mulligan stretching their lead to two and a half lengths over Neo Smart and Madden Plaintiff. Sluice continues to stay on ahead of Stray and then Rip Justina. But there's no catching Asian Days, who's now four in front. The Battles for minor money. Asian Days wins well with Sluice pipping the second from Madame Plaint of New Smart and then stray in a gap to Rip Justina. Magical Sunset after them is doomed, then Jumbly, who's running on in between fillies. And wide with delight, Vaingloria has dropped out tamely. Staying on behind the leaders is Gregorina, but it's you send me and Joey Sheridan by three parts of a length. Flashing home, Gregorina on the line! The sunset after them is doomed, then Jumbly, who's running on in between fillies. And wide with delight, Vaingloria has dropped out tamely. Staying on behind the leaders is Gregorina, but it's you send me and Joey Sheridan by three parts of a length. Flashing home, Gregorina! On the line, it's got to the judge. The Thazi in third place is Doom, followed in then by Magical Sons. Wait for the judge, it got tight. Lead extends the advantage to two lengths over Greenland and Village Voice, followed then by Lord Masseuse. A gap to the trailing Maxis, but it's White Birch extending the advantage to over three lengths from Greenland. Lord Masseuse is next, and deep in the closing stages, White Birch follows up the alleged on reappearance with a win in the Moors Bridge. Boat coming here extends the advantage to two lengths over Greenland and Village Voice, followed then by Lord Masseuse. A gap to the trailing Maxis, but it's White Birch extending the advantage to over three lengths. From Greenland, Lord Masseuse is next, and deep in the closing stages, White Birch follows up the alleged on reappearance with a win in the Moors Bridge. Boat coming here, Lord Masseuse is Greenland second and third.
Andy and over on the far side is Red the Onion Bag. This side, Alessia Fernanda digs in with Chawarmek, Arch Enemy and El Bello, and it's Arandi who's cut them down. Arandi over on the far side leads from Chawarmek, Alessia Fernanda, Ling Shore, Arch Enemy is staying on late. It's Arandi over on the far side from Chawarmek, they're one and two. And over on the far side is Red the Onion Bag. This side, Alessia Fernanda digs in with Chawarmek, Arch Enemy and El Bello, and it's Arandi who's cut them down. Arandi over on the far side leads from Chawarmek, Alessia Fernanda, Ling Sure, Arch Enemy is staying on late. It's a Randy over on the far side from Shawarmick. They're one and two. Arch Enemy, Alessia Fernanda, and Link Sure next. Weakening was come on the lads, and then El Bello and Superior Force Radio Rising next. Followed then by Universally, it is Mount Rupeho laying it down to Pinar del Rio on opposite sides of the track. Followed then by Tyson Ye and it's Pinar del Rio getting on top, running up to the last 50 yards. It is Pinar del Rio, Pinar del Rio, two lengths too good for by Universally. It is Mount Rupeho laying it down to Pinar del Rio on opposite sides of the track. Followed then by Tyson Ye and it's Pinar del Rio getting on top, running up to the last 50 yards. It is Pinar del Rio, Pinar del Rio, two lengths. Thanks to good for the running on 17, the bear trap involved for the placings with Tyson Ye and Mount Rupeho. As